Welcome. In today's video, we're going to talk about five of the strongest decks you can play in Marvel Snap right now. Just one version of these decks. The good thing about Marvel Snap is you can make a lot of changes to decks. Be flexible as long as you keep the key cards. So we're just going to look at one version. Five top decks. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please like and subscribe. First deck is this one here. Around played around death. The idea of it is you get some early pressure on. With Carnage, Ebans, Hood, other, you know, basic destroy. You, the game plan is to destroy at least two cards to reduce death cost by two. Then when you play Wave on five, death will cost two, and you get to play any of the rest. Of so the idea is you fight for locations with these cards. Then on 5 you drop wave, and on 6 you've got death, plus one of these, Aereo or Magneo, to this secure the location, and this will drag, both of these drag cards away from a location. So, fight from the, these, these cards, got Carnage and your Killmonger and your Deathlock to destroy two cards. Stereo, you need that with Carnage, get the buff. And then on 5 you drop Wave, 6 you drop Death and Magneto, and you just win the game. Just one version of it, you can pick out some cards, play around with it, but this is the version I'm showing today. So deck 2 is this Lockjaw Dracula deck. Really fun deck to play, and I'm still missing a couple of key cards for the version I run. But when it works, it works. I'm just missing the cards to make it consistent. But the idea is, you get like a, you get Morbius down, Dracula, does scale a lot, yeah. But the key part of the deck is you drop Lockjaw, and then you just abuse the discard. Play cards on it. It swaps them out, pulls out more, and you just keep buffing your apocalypse. The end goal is. To just have Apocalypse in your hand at the end of turn 6. So the Dracula discards it and it gets that extra buff. So easy to get 30, 40 power in this Apocalypse if you have it in your hand when you start discarding. And then the Morbius, you are discarding quite a lot. So it gets to like 10, 20 power as well. And the Lockjaw just lets you throw these cards out. So you have, on five, you have Hellcow Blade, you play Hellcow, your Blade. And then they'll pull out, say, Lady Safe, and then maybe pulls out the Hellcat now again. And you just cycle and discard. It's so fun. Such big power swings in the last turn. Okay, next up is this Ongoing Destroyer deck. I have lost to this so many times. Crazy. So the main plan is you lock down one location. You've got an armor in that location to protect you, destroy it all. You get Cosmo, Professor X, three ways to destroy, stop you, destroy it, ruining the board. Then you just fight for it with these cards. And the off chance you don't draw your destroyer, Spectrum also buffs up all these because they're all ongoing cards. A simple one, you fight for one location, drop Cosmo on a random location away from the rest of your cards, so you can drop your destroyer on it. And then you fight for... Board, slap down a destroyer, win game. It can be a little telegraphed, but at the same time it's kind of hard to stop if you've already got the Cosmo down. Can be that Shang-Chi, you can't do anything. And you also have the second option with Spectrum as well. So just buff up all these cards. The power adds up. Next up is this ongoing deck. It is centered around abusing one. Which is a card that I really, really, really want, but... RNG hates me, so I'll probably get it in my last 
go for your card. So the basic idea of the deck's kinda simple. You play one, you have used it with five or six drops. You've got some annoying here cards here. Ebony Mars, a big boy, helps you get priority. Strong. Iceman's annoying. Psylocke helps you get a turn three Wong down. And you've got Iron Heart for a little buff. Storm locks out a location because you've got Reach. White Tiger, Azola, Doctor Doom. Wolf Spin is just a strong card. Ongoing. You could use it on turn six with Iron Heart and Wolf Spin if you're somehow unlucky not to get any of the big cards. The game plan is Wong down on four. Black Panther or White Tiger down on 5. Then depending on which one that you played, you'd play Odin or Zola. But ideally you'd play Zola with a Black Panther. And it just pops off. Big boys across the board. Oops, it. And then, if you've got White Tiger down and then Odin, and you just fill the board with Tigers. And Doctor Doom is just... It just kind of fits in if you don't have a 6 drop. Okay, finally, is this Sarah deck. As you might have guessed, here we play around Sarah. Your idea is to get it down on five and then have a powerful turn six. You reduce all these and you pop off. Just pop off. So you have cards that you can play down early, like Angela and Bishop. And then on turn 5, you get the Ceridama on 6. All these are reduced, and you can have huge swing turns. It's extremely flexible. You have all these cards. There's so many cards. Um, and you just surprise the opponent with... I don't know. Filling on Mojo board or put Dracula into Shabazz. And man plays... Just wild plays. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please like and subscribe.